Ah, yes, the infamous Green Cross. Cousin of the Red Cross. The only deal with dead people. This belief can lead to murder, too. Yeah, the boss is Today, really coming out of me. He says I'm not creating enough the souls. Progress as an excuse for their own laziness and carelessness. Well, that explains why death's reason, kicking back with a cold one. For murder. Do you believe accidents are part of the price of progress? There you are, Mom. All set. Now you won't have to go over to the table to turn the radio off and on. This remote control switch will let you do it right from the sink. Say, that looks pretty good, son. You sure it'll work? Yes, sir. I just took the wires, bypassed the switch in the radio, and hooked them into this switch. Made it myself. Well, it's wonderful to have an electrician in the house to keep us up on the latest scientific advancements. Let's see how your little gadget works. <laughs> Are you all right, dear? Yes, I guess so. But it was quite a shock. Gee, I'm awfully sorry, Mom. I should have made sure everything was properly insulated and grounded. I guess that's a price of progress sometimes. Nonsense. If you had been careful and done the job right in the first place, this wouldn't have happened. Oh, now we have a little hurt for another year. seriously hurt. And the price of progress is no excuse. Right. Don't blame your carelessness on the price of progress. Blame it on these progress guys. Progress has cut down the death rate in tuberculosis and is on the way to the conquest of cancer. Progress has given you all that you see around you in the way of comforts and entertainment. The same attention to safety that we give to progress will give us more progress with more safety. Don't blame accidents on progress when the real blame lies with you and your beliefs. Where shall God now, Moses? And put this belief out of your mind, too. Hot dog. Hot dog. Hot dog. Hot dog. Hot dog. Hot dog. I just had a big lunch about an hour ago. This sure tastes good. Mmm, I ate a big lunch too. But I can always force down something good. Mom says she doesn't know how I do it. Yeah, the horking sounds from the bathroom Come never on. tip her off. Let's go try those dyes we've been practicing. Not me, I'm too full. And you'd better wait a while too. It's not good to go in the water so soon after eating. Might get a cramp. Oh, I've done it lots of times and I never had a cramp. Had. Never had a That's head? It always happens to someone else. Not to me. lucky. She knows someone now who's had a cramp while swimming, and all she paid for the knowledge was a little pain. Oh, I wonder what this soup du jour is the at other the shade can death be you. Stop this belief on sight and put it out of your mind. It can be a killer. Do you think you're lucky like this driver? Did you see him breeze through the four-way stop at that intersection? If that other car hadn't stopped, the driver's luck would end right there smart passenger. He's getting out. I'm through right here, Harry. What are you scared of, Johnny? Commitment. You're driving. That's what I'm scared of. Didn't you see that stop sign back there? Sure, I saw it, but the other car was stopped. So why should I? Well, suppose somebody came along that figured the same way. He could have plowed right into you. Not me, Johnny. I'm lucky. I'm not. I'll walk and be sure I get where I'm going. No more racing trains to crossings or going through stop signs for me. Ah. <laughs> That's his answer for everything. Johnny's words aren't making any impression on Harry. Look at the needle climb up that speedometer dial. Uh-oh, there's a dangerous curve warning up ahead. Look out, Harry. That curve's sharper than you think. <laughs> is another name for foolishness. Apparently death is an Every time you believe connected. you feel lucky, look out for murder. It can happen to you unless you take these six beliefs and throw them out of your mind and out of your life. Wanted for murder. Six beliefs. The belief that safety is for sissies. That no matter what you do, your number will come up. The belief that you're protected by some dream called the law of averages. The belief that accidents are the price of progress. 
the belief that accidents only happen to the other fellow. And the belief that an accident can't happen to you because you're lucky. What can these six murderous beliefs promise you except a moment of carelessness followed by tragedy or death? Not to mention teen pregnancy and, and the mind. AIDS. You'll live longer.